Tatyova, Benthic Druid versus Niv Mizzet Perun. Play that deck on the channel. It's, uh, well, our deck is, uh, yeah, pretty formidable if I do say so myself. It can be infuriating to play against, I'm sure. We play Spell Slingers, Control Burn, that type of thing. And, uh, yeah, it can be really annoying to play against, I'll bet. Hopefully our opponent doesn't irritate us too much. And, yeah, let's have a look at our hand. We are in for a turn one brainstorm if we want it. And I think that is... I think that's okay because that means that we can try and get into blue mana and hold up counter spell. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about mana crypt just yet. We'll just throw it back over to our opponent and go over the commanders. Nib Mizzet Perun is 3 blue and 3 red for a 5-5 five, five flying dragon. It can't be countered. Whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery spell, you draw a card. And whenever you draw a card, it deals 1 damage to anything. I'm not going to worry about the is it signet. And there's nothing we can do about it anyway. We will just go for the brainstorm at the end of our opponent's turn. And we can throw a forest. No, we can't. We can throw an island. And draw into the counter spell next turn. And then we can shuffle the island away. And hope that we can draw into more lands in the meantime. So let's just get down the windswept teeth. And we can go for a Tatyova next turn. Unfortunately, won't be able to get the landfall trigger off the windswept teeth if we want to do that. Well, I'm sure we will get into some more lands in the meantime. Uh, Tatyova, for those of you who don't know, is 5 mana in Simic. Whenever a land enters under your control, you gain a life and draw a card. It's a 3-3. Three, three. One of the few commanders that I've done a deck tech for on this channel. That's something that I need to try and find time to get around to. Uh, okay, we have allowed Trinket Mage to enter and let's see if they go in for a Sol Ring. Colourless Mana in Niv Mizzet Perun isn't necessarily what they want to be going for. Well, they've gone for Mana Crypt. I wonder if Mana Crypt is worth a counter. Uh, well, I'm, yeah, I'm going to counter it. I don't want our opponent getting well they're not necessarily going to get ahead of us on mana but they you know, they might keep up with us at least see if that no, no counter magic for free from our opponent no days or anything like that force of will okay cultivate I'm going to risk getting down Tatyova here Worst case scenario, it gets killed and we just have to go with Cultivate or something like that next turn. Our opponent's f 6 so that might tell us a little bit of something about what they have going on. And down comes a Colony Gem for our opponent. Add two mana of any one colour. When it enters the battlefield, you have to bounce two lands. Yeah, that's a risky play by our opponent. Luckily for them, we don't have a wasteland or anything like that. We do have Thought Vessel, though. Uh, I think we cultivate, first of all. And then we could Eternal Witness into that counter spell to grab that back again. So why don't we get a forest and an island? And then the island can go into play tapped. We get a landfall trigger off Tatyova. Unfortunately can't make use of exploration. So yeah, I think we'll go for the e-witness on the counter magic. We only have a couple of counter spells in this deck, so Hoping that we can make use of them. That's two, three, four. Oh no, two. Yeah, four mana our opponent has. Five next turn. 
And there's nothing to say that they they might have a mox in hand or something like that. We can't counter their their commander because it is uncounterable, but we can try and counter their mana. Because Niv Mizzet Perun is a particularly difficult commander to get out with those six coloured pips that it has. Temple of Epiphany for our opponent potentially fixes a draw next turn, but it is a tap land. Ooh, Helm of the Host is... Yeah, that's not good. They can't put it on Trinket Mage, thanks to the Shroud that Lightning Greaves grants. Hmm. Yeah, that's a difficult one. One, two, three, four, five. And um, they had to bounce a couple of lands. I didn't, I didn't take note of which lands they bounced, actually, so... Yeah, we'll see. I think we're definitely getting into Ramanap here. Um, Ramunap takes us into our well, exploration first. And that way we can play Windswept Heath a couple of times, and that is four landfall triggers. But I think we go for Guy's Cradle, actually, because that is more mana than the Windswept Heath can get us. And that is three, four, five, and six. And yeah, Rampaging Bailoths, I think. We'll hold up Pongify. Not too worried about Counter Spell as of yet, because I think if our opponent wants to get down their Niv Mizzet Perun, then there's not a whole lot we're going to do about it. So why don't we just go in for an attack on our opponent? The Rampaging Bailoths has Landfall, and we get 4-4 Beasts on the Landfall. We can do that at instant speed, thanks to the Fetch Land. And the Fetch Land can grab us a Breeding Pool for that Ponga 5 if we want to. And there we go, there is a, an untapped land. So they can get down their Commander here if they want to. And there it is, Nip and Mizzet Perun. So the Pongify will allow them to ping something. I think we want to go in for Pongify while we still can. It'll draw them a card. And we'll have to shock ourselves. That's not really much of an issue, thanks to Tatyova netting us a life on landfall. We'll always yes and yield to the Rampaging Bailoths. We're never not going to make a creature, I don't think. And there we go. If Mizzet Perun gets to ping something, most likely the Eternal Witness. Yep, yeah, there we go. Don't really care about that dying. It's got in a few bits of damage. It's done its work for us. And Helm of the Host triggers. We can always yield to that. Okay, won the flip on Mana Crypt. Heroic Intervention is definitely worth holding up. Uh, I'm going to go with Windswept Heath first, just to get more Landfall triggers. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to worry about Avenger of Zendikar yet, just in case our opponent has Chain Reaction or Blasphemous Act, something like that. Yeah, I think we can concentrate on going wide on our opponent with beast tokens. So let's... Yeah, if that's the plan, then we need to use Windswept Teeth to do it. Because the fetch lands get us a couple of landfall triggers as opposed to just one. And we are drawing into nothing but lands. I think it's 41 lands in the deck. Yeah, I have on my monitor to the right here, I have the deck list up, and it is 41 lands that we have in this deck. Okay, Pact of Negation might be of use to us. Why don't we go in for Thought Vessel? And then we can Tragic Lesson. 
and that will draw us some cards. I think I pressed a forest, there we go, yeah. And then we can either discard a card or return a land. I think we just discard a forest here. Oh, Mystic Snake we got into as well, so... Yeah, I think that's okay. Let's try and get in some damage on our opponent here. Rampaging Baloth and a Beast. And yeah, we can just try and go wide again next turn. Just going to get straight through here. So our opponent is on a significant clock here. And they're pretty much reliant on a board wipe, but we do have counter magic in hand. We have an unlimited hand size, thanks to the Thought Vessel. Deep Analysis is target player draws two cards. Uh, yeah, I think we can just let our opponent go for that if they want to. Uh, yeah, why don't we just go for the snake. We can hold up the Pact of Negation if we need to. I don't know what they could draw into here, but I think it's better safe than sorry. They can do that from the graveyard, but they'll have to pay three life to do it. And they could have done that anyway. I'd rather they draw just two cards than four. They're up to six and no mana. And yeah, we'll reveal our hand to our opponent as well, showing that we had counter magic anyway. Uh, they had a dispel, which they could have countered our counter spell had we have gone for that. And spell twine, yeah, they had some... Pretty big stuff here. Thirst for Knowledge. And Thaumatic Compass, Swift Foot Boots. So I think we just had more than them, more quickly than them. Uh, much different Niv-Mizzet Perun deck. I don't know what they were actually going for there, um, but it's a much different Niv-Mizzet Perun deck than the one that we play. It's one of the good reasons to play Magic Online. It's uh, lots of different varied ideas for decks and the same commander can have multiple different variants. So, yeah, it's uh, it's fun time. I hope you all enjoyed that Tatyova Benthic Druid game against niv -Mizzet Perun, and I will see all of you in the next one. I'm Travel Kai on the EDH channel. Thank you for watching.